just how you do it. It's a bit of a pain actually, but um, once you've got the hang of it, it's really, uh, yeah, it's fine. It's just got a few steps, that's all. So first off, you just, well, you start with your MIDI, so I'll just play something, whatever. Uh, just play some new piano. There we go. So then what you do is you choose the length of your loop like so. Make sure you've got the track selected too. You go to File, Add Region to Loop Library, and then you call it whatever you want to. So, so it appears at the top of the list, I'm going to call it ABC Piano, because I don't have to scroll down the list. And you go Create. Don't worry about any of this stuff here. I think it's just, I don't, I think that's fairly incidental or all that. So you Create. So it'll do that. Then you go here which is basically the Apple Loop Library. I don't know if you've ever seen that or used it before, but basically the loop should appear here now, should it? I'll just close it again, see if it comes up. So if you scroll down, oh yeah, there we go, ABC Piano. And it's there. So oops. what you do now is you have to copy, so you do Apple C, go to your desktop, and then do Apple V, and then it'll appear on the desktop there, okay? Get rid of that one, that's an old one. So here's your loop. Okay, so we've we've um, we've added it to the loop library, we've copied it, and now we've got it on the desktop. So what you have to do, there's a web-based app that you can use to convert audio to MIDI from GarageBand. So what I did was I went GB2 MIDI, which is what the name of the app is, scroll down, and then on this message board, there is a link to the Java-based, web-based version of the app. So you click on this link here. So it's, I don't know, it's Ask Different Answers for Your Apple Questions. That's the website. But if you just type, type GB2 MIDI into your browser, you'll get it. Okay, so you go down like that. You go to this. And then you go, so it just looks, it's just a blank screen with just this at the top. So you choose the file that you want. You go here, because it's desktop. So we get ABC Piano open. And then we just click Convert. And it'll appear down here. So it's basically, it comes, it comes as a zip file. So when you go to Show in Finder, you have to double click the zip. And then your file will show up there. So now it's now a MIDI file, so it's been converted. So just to check that it works, we can get rid of that. And let's import the MIDI file. We can just drag it onto our track right there, like that. Also import tempo information. Well, if you've used the click and you've snapped it to the grid, then I guess it would be useful to do that too. So let's do that. Okay, there we go. Does it work? Yeah, it's the same. Okay, there we go. That's how you export MIDI from GarageBand. Hope that's helpful. Laters.